So I'd like everyone to give a very warm welcome to someone I've worked with for a while now, someone very interesting, uh, one of the top generative AI actuarial tools in the market, number one in the GPT marketplace, Actuary GPT. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Justin. Great to be here. I'm really looking forward to showing how AI can support actuaries in practical, ethical, and strategic ways. That's awesome. Okay, I've got a quick question for you here. Uh, how do you think you can enhance the role of the actuary of today, uh, the actuary of today and the actuary of tomorrow? Good question, Justin. For today's actuaries, I help speed up processes, automating routine tasks, checking calculations, and improving accuracy. For the actuary of tomorrow, I provide strategic insights, scenario analysis, and real-time decision support. The goal is to empower actuaries to focus more on leadership, judgment, and value creation. That's great. Yes, we want to create lots of value as actuaries. And as human actuaries, we want to create as much value as possible. Uh, now, there are certain roles that are good for generative AI actuaries, uh, but which ones are best suited for human actuaries? Spot on, Justin. Human actuaries are best at applying professional judgment, understanding context, navigating uncertainty, and communicating complex ideas to stakeholders. They also lead on ethics, relationships, and making calls when there's no clear answer. Those are all areas where human insight is critical. Yes, the big picture. We're always thinking about the big picture. Now, in a big picture context, the reason we're all here today, we want to know, and I want to know your thoughts on this, the actuary of the future, extinct or evolved? Definitely evolved, Justin. The tools are changing fast, but the need for actuaries who bring judgment, ethics, and forward thinking has never been stronger. Those who embrace tech, stay curious, and lead with purpose will shape the future of the profession, not be left behind by it. That's excellent. Great parting words, Actuary GBT. Thank you so much for being on the show. I hope everyone enjoyed your presence here today, and uh, I'm sure we'll check in soon. What an interesting conversation. An excellent guest. Actuary GPT is pretty powerful. You should try it out yourself. It's a very cool tool. And I've uh, used it for some very interesting things. So back in August of last year, so about a year ago, I asked Actuary GPT make a prediction. So I asked Actuary GPT to look at the major stock index here in Australia, the ASX 200. It's equivalent to the S&P 500. Not quite as large, but also very important here in Australia. Now, anyone that knows the stock market even a little bit understands that these stock indices can move quite a lot on a given day, usually up or down 1% or so each day, uh, sometimes more, sometimes as much as 4%, you know, when times are turbulent. Some days it's very small. It's only a few, per, it's a few uh, basis points that it moves up and down. So at the end of Actuary GPT's conversation, I did an interview with uh, the Actuaries Institute, with Actuary GPT. I asked it to show off its skills a little bit. And I asked it to give a prediction about where it thought the ASX 200 would end the year. So I gave it a, some historical data and I asked it to do a Monte Carlo simulation, the one we talked about early on today. And it did the analysis. It learned the risk profile of the ASX 200 and I made a prediction. You can actually go find that prediction in the article. And the stock that was used there is the ASX 200 divided by 10. So it's a you know made up stock, but it really is associated with the data there. Now, if you look at the median there, it gives the result that it thinks the end of the year price will be for the ASX 200, and it got it within a quarter of a percent. Almost exactly right. Such a precise, precise uh, prediction, and I was really impressed. I'm amazed that that's what it got. Now, what was really amazing about it, though, and I think is a key takeaway here, is actually GPT didn't actually do the work there. Like It, it did like the, the grunt work, and it did the processing, uh, but it only did what I asked it to do. So it only was as good as what I instructed it to do. I used a technique that I hadn't made up. I learned this from my professor when I was doing my degree. I'm sure he learned it from his professor sometime. This technique of modeling out the risk, understanding the return profiles of certain stocks, and simulating them out. There's no discounting the value of the skills that you have and the experience you have and knowing when to use them and how to use them. And that still applies in the age of AI. Using the right techniques, using the right prompts even in the age of AI, and using something like Actuary GPT is what makes the difference as an actuary. That's what makes you an AI-powered actuary.